Hey everyone, it's Rob uh, here with a video that is going to explain the usage of the Fantasy Grounds random PC generator. So I have it here in the library. I've opened it up. It is called 5e random PC generator revamped. Uh, so you see it there in the library. I also have all 10 uh, sources open for 5e that you can use to build characters. So if you don't have all 10, that's not a problem. Uh, you know, whatever you have. If you are using the SRD, you should be using the old version of this. But if you're, uh, if you have even just one of these, then you can use this. So let's go to the instructions. And I'm not going to go through them, you know, because you'll read them yourself. But uh, it, it basically will uh, tell you how to use this. And I'm just going to go show you how to use this. So there is a step by step process that literally tells you, open a new PC. Oh, there's a bunch of them, so I'm gonna open one here. And name your PC, give it a name. And roll the ability scores on the table. So th th this will walk you through step by step. And if you have uh, just a couple sources, it's probably better to do a step by step process so that if the table rolls something that you don't have, you can re-roll it. Like, for example, if it rolls something out of Xanathar's Guide and you don't own Xanathar's Guide, then you can just re-roll it. But I have all 10 sources, so I'm actually going to use the version that is a one, sort of a one-stop shop. And that is the full PC generator story template. So now watch this. I'm just going to open that. I'm going to move this over to the side here so we can get everything. I'm just going to click Generate. And there it is, as I no longer need this, the template because I've generated it. So uh, I am going to put in the ability scores, which it gave me 11. Ooh, dex is 7. That's going to suck. That's going to be fun. Con 12, int 7, whiz 7. Oh, I rolled a lot of 7s. Oh, my God. And then the background is guild artisan, so I'm going to swing that right there. Uh, if, for example, you used a background that asked you to pick a skill or anything, it would do that then. Uh, I'm a gnome race. Ooh, I get to pick a sub race. I'm going to be a... I'm going to be the... Yeah, I'm going to be the Smurf, Smurf Liblin, however you say that. Uh, so I'm going to choose that. Uh, ooh, I got the evil high priest from the DMG. Uh, I like that I said DMG instead of DMG. I don't know why I said it that way. But I am going to do the Evil High Priest. I'm going to pick my two skills. Uh, I believe my background gave me Insight and Precision. So I'm going to pick History and Medicine. I'm going to be an Evil High Priest who knows about medicine. And uh, I am not a... I am not a human variant. If I was, I could go roll on the feats table. And every feat is in there. And I would just pick one randomly. Uh, if I need languages... Let's find out if I get extra languages. Ooh, one of my choice. Okay, so I'm going to roll on the language table. That gave me giant, and I do not have giant, so I will take giant and put it in there. And done with that. And if I am a spell user, yes, and actually a... Uh, okay, if I'm a spell user, then I'm going to use cleric spells. And so I will click on cleric. And it will generate me three cantrips. And even though I know all of the spells in cleric you can drag all the spell if you're a cleric you can drag all the spells on but these are the ones that i'm preparing so bane create and destroy water sanctuary shield of faith so there bam i built a i built an evil high priest and except for the equipment uh i'm done and, and uh actually there is the matter of the background you know, um, these tables that you got to roll on. And usually when I make a character really fast and it's random and I want to role play whatever I get, I just roll these out. Uh, 
and then I go on the tab, the notes tab, and I grab my ideal and put it in. I grab my bond, put it in. I grab my personality trait and put it in. And what am I missing? Personality trait, bond, ideal. Did I not do a flaw? I could have sworn I rolled. Oh, it's a flaw. Here we go. Flaw. All right. So I did that. And... Oh, I missed... Oh, you know what I did? I, I missed the... It does give you the uh, gender... Uh, I'm a female. It does give you that. I totally skipped that. Age, I'm 40... Uh, I'm two foot eleven plus five inches, so the uh, formula uh, calculates that way. So that means I'm three foot four, and it does do random calculations for you. And then I weigh thirty five pounds plus five pounds, so I weigh forty pounds. And I believe in a matter of less than five minutes. Oh, and my alignment is lawful neutral. See, I keep forgetting. It's a good thing I have this because I keep... Whoops, I, I messed that up somehow. Uh, let's try that again. Control C. Let's put the alignment right here. Bam. So I believe I've got class background races. Uh, it added for my race onto my numbers that I typed in there. It's got my AC is 9 because I don't have equipment yet. So everything is done except equipment. Skills are there. Uh, abilities are there. Equipment I need to do. And I've got my uh, role-playing stuff there. And then I have my spells. So uh, I'm not going to do it on this video because we all know how to put equipment in. But I would, I would basically then just go open my class and my background and then i would go to the player's handbook and and retrieve those equipment items that i get slam them on my sheet and i'm done so there you go there's a step-by-step -step way to build a character there is a quick way to get all the information and build the character and uh, there you have it so i hope you guys enjoy um and uh thanks for watching